Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Young. Today I'll be discussing the importance of placing a bone graft after extracting a tooth. This is the case of a 53-year-old female patient. During the initial evaluation, she expressed a desire to fix a crown that had come off some time ago. On the radiograph, you can see that both of the molars have had root canal treatment completed, so without any exposed nerve, she wasn't in any pain, which contributed to her postponing any treatment for quite some time. When I saw her the first time, I showed her on the digital x-ray where there was a significant fracture on the back of the tooth. This is how her tooth looked in the mouth. The root canal access was open to the oral cavity and there was considerable decay present. Even without the fracture, this root canal would have needed to be redone to disinfect and clean the canals. Obtaining a proper seal is crucial to the long-term success of a tooth that's had a root canal procedure done. So after discussing treatment options, we decided it would be best to remove the tooth and eventually place an implant. We talked about the importance of preserving as much bone as possible with the bone graft. When a tooth is extracted, it creates a gap or a socket in the bone. The body eventually heals and fills this space with new bone, but it's much less than we would need for an implant and unpredictable results if we just left it to nature. There's typically a loss of one-third to one-half of the total bone height after an extraction, indicated here by the two green lines. In this image, I'm showing where the nerve canal is. When placing an implant, you have to stay two to three millimeters away from this canal. Without a bone graft, that would severely limit our options for placing an implant in the future. We scheduled the surgery, I removed the tooth, and placed an artificial bone graft. You can see in this image that it has integrated very nicely and will do an excellent job of preserving the bone so that in the future I'll be able to place a good size implant and restore function back to that area. For any dentist watching, you may have noticed recurrent decay on the distal of the existing crown on the first molar. This was addressed with a new zirconia restoration after the old crown and decay was removed. Thanks for watching everyone.